Hey guys, what's up? I'm here in Venice Beach today and I think it's a perfect day and a perfect place to do a Q&A. So I asked you guys on my Instagram, Ashley K Fit, what questions you'd like to ask me and you guys asked some very awesome questions. So I'm gonna answer the best ones here today. First question, do you ever get burnt out from training and meal prepping? If so, how do you overcome it? Yes, I totally do. I'm human just like everybody else. I get bored with repetition, so what I do is I also take a week off of every single show I do unless I have one coming up very shortly. Next question, when is your next show? Honestly, undecided. Um, hopefully within the next month, I would like to get back on stage. I don't think my body's quite recovered yet from my last prep, so take a little break getting back on it. Do you plan on going to Australia anytime soon? Unfortunately not. I really hate that flight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't do that flight. It's just it's hard. Wow. <laughs> but I love the Australians. I just hate the flight. It's so it's difficult. What is your stage weight and how long have you been with Coach Adam? My stage weight, honestly I don't often weigh myself right before I go on stage but I would probably estimate like 123. I'm 5'5", by the way. And how long have I been with Adam as a coach? Um, about a year and a few months. Water loading versus depletion on show day. Honestly, I don't do any of that. I don't think you need to as a bikini competitor. And the goal here is to be prepared ahead of time so you don't have to do anything crazy like that. I like to drink water regularly and on show day, just cut back some just so I don't get like a water belly. What sports or activities did you do as a kid? Gymnastics and track. How much cardio do you really do? Honestly, it depends on where I'm at, um, conditioning wise, how close my show is. So that all factors in. But right now I'm doing like five days a week, 30 minutes steady state. How long do you see yourself competing? Mm, until I get bored with it. Right now I'm definitely not bored with it. Your glutes are goals. What's your favorite exercise to make them grow? My personal favorite is the curtsy lunge. Do you have cravings and how do you deal with it? I have cravings just like everybody else. I have these little tricks I like to do when I have a craving. I actually made a YouTube video on it. But basically, you know, one of the common things I like to do is first drink water because sometimes you can get some um, dehydration confused with a craving. Um, chewing gum also works for me. Brushing your teeth indulging in nice little snacks like cucumber with stevie on top. I like to do that too. There's you, many others. You can actually be there. Yes. They can check. Mm -hmm. Yep. I had a, I made a video on it and you guys can check it out. It should be in my, under my um, comeback series. So check it out. How often do you train abs? Like never. <laughs> I haven't trained abs in like two years because abs are made in the kitchen. Um, genetically speaking, I, I have pretty good abs, so I don't want to overdo it with the abs. Abs will show through as I get leaner or my body fat percentage is at a certain level. What is your toughest muscle group to develop for yourself? By the way, love ya. Love you too. Um, my, my toughest muscle group, probably my shoulders. They don't, uh, they don't pop so easily. I have to really work on them. What do you eat backstage on show day? Honestly, I like to keep my meals kind of light on show day because, um, you know, it's not like I'm gonna lose muscle on the day of the show. I just try to keep my waist very small, keep my stomach very flat. So I'll do like quick carbs and some fats. So maybe a common thing I would eat would be like a rice cake, peanut butter, and maybe some honey. Do you lose your period while competing? Nope, still got it all the time. How did you find such a good coach and coaching fit? Actually, funny story about me and Adam. Um, before I announced I was coming back to anybody, um, I was talking to my friend. I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna come back this year. I'm trying to think of a good coach. And Adam popped into my mind and I told her, I was like, you know who would be a great coach? Coach Adam. I trained with him like two years ago during a seminar in, in Denver. I never really talked to him that much. I just trained with him once. And then, oddly enough, he like messaged me asking if I was gonna compete ever again. <laughs> and it was like two hours after I had that conversation with my friend. So I was like, oh my God, that's such a crazy coincidence. So I was like, this was meant to be. 
So that's how that happened. Who is your celebrity crush? I don't have any. I don't know anybody. Like, I guess I, I have to know them to have a crush on them, but no celebrity crush. Are you married? Do you want kids? No, and not right now. That's not even on my radar. I don't think kids are cute. What I do think is cute is like kittens. <laughs> if it wasn't for competition aspect, would you still be into fitness? Yes. Um, I've been in sports my entire life, so this is nothing new. Um, before I even found competing, I was a gymnast. I did track, like I mentioned before. Why do you always sit in the back seat of your trainer's car? Because Nadim's in the front seat. He gets shotgun. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, leave them here below, and I'll try to answer them for you. Till next time, see you later.